Hey guys, it's Doc, and today I'm going to talk to you about watering your Bermuda grass and how often you should do it. So hold on. Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about watering your Bermuda grass, but I'm going to talk to you with a little bit different approach to it because the simple rule is is that Bermuda grass likes to get one inch of rain or water per week is the rule. So if you want to use that rule and move on, go right ahead. But let me explain what I do. I do mine a little bit differently because uh, if you don't know anything about what we've done back here, we purchased this house about a year ago. The existing sprinkler system, uh, it's front and rear irrigation is okay, but the front is set up with the sprinkler heads better than the rear is set up. So what I'll typically do is, is I will run my front irrigation system, but I will not run my back irrigation system. If I really need to water the back, I'll actually just use a hand, uh, just use a regular water sprinkler and move it around, which I don't like to do. What I like to do is, is on the front grass, I really like to have my front grass really presentable, get that good curb appeal, that real nice, strong, thick, lush green grass. And my back, I'm okay with it. There's a pool back here, it's a big yard, the dogs are running around, so I don't have to have it perfect back here. I just want it to be healthy. So I'm gonna water my front yard more than I am my back. But the other thing is, is I have different sprinkler heads and I'm gonna run those a little bit differently. So my rule of thumb for watering is, to, if it's a warm, if the weather is hot and warm, or if we're in a dry spell, if I don't have rain for four days, or if I have to water my flowers twice, I water my lawn. Does that make sense? So if I don't, haven't had rain for four or five days and I don't see any coming up really 80% or 100% chance of rain in the next two or three days, I'll water my front. If I'm in drought conditions, I will put some water in the back. But when I do my front system, I do it a little bit differently. And what I'm gonna show you is, I'm gonna show you that on my front system, I actually have good sprinkler systems up by the curb and I run that for 13 minutes. Then I go run the other side, which is not as good distribution of water. I'll run that for 13 minutes. Then I'll come back to the curb and run those again for 13 minutes. The reason why I like to do the alternating is because of water buildup. If you just run us rather than running a sprinkler system 20 or 25 minutes, what I like to do is go out and target it run it for 10 to 14 minutes, go hit another side 10, 14 minutes, and then come back. And that gives you time, the ground time, to absorb some of that water instead of having a whole bunch of runoff. All right, so here's my good front sprinkler system. And my good front sprinkler system is located near my sidewalk for my front. And what I'll do is I'll run this one I'll run these units twice for 10 minutes each. But I'll run it for 10 minutes. Then I'm going to switch over and I'll show you the other ones. And I'll run those for 10 minutes. And then I'll come back to these and run these again for 10 minutes. But again, Bermuda grass is really tough. Yeah, it may dry out, you may get some burnout out front, but only worry about the burnout in the areas that you really, really care about visually. Your lawn will be fine if it browns up a little bit for a couple days. You get a strong rain, hey, in a week, that Bermuda grass is gonna grow up fine, you're not gonna hurt it, it's not gonna die, it's just gonna, it's gonna control itself. It's just gonna stop growing a little bit, it's gonna turn a little bit brown. As soon as you get a strong rain, it's gonna come back up. So that's why, let me show you, that's why back here, this is my backyard, and my backyard is big. It's a big backyard, and it's huge back here. So I really don't, I'm really not that concerned about keeping this pristine and keeping it really green and really lush. It's fine if it browns a little bit, that's fine. What I focus on is the front. I wanna make sure that that front really looks good, that I have that curve appeal, lush green grass. So I only water my front, um, I only water it when I know that the grass is going to be stressed. But anyways, guys, one inch per week is the rule, but I'm not going to sit out here and measure rainfall. Uh, and you just sort of do it instinctively. You kind of know. If your flowers are needing water, then your grass probably needs water too. 
but what I like to do is, is, is four days with no rain, I'm going to go put water on, unless I have a 100% chance of rain coming. Anyways, guys, I hope this helped out a little bit going into the phase of manual watering versus just an automatic system. The girls and I get ready to go water some grass. We'll talk to you later. Doc, how you doing? Oh, and by the way, share this on your Facebook page and share this with your neighbors. What are we doing today? What are we doing today? Are we going to water some Bermuda grass? Or are we going to scratch ourselves? We're going to water some Bermuda grass. And our flowers. That's what we're going to do. We're going to water Bermuda grass and our flowers. Get your ball. Don't be grabbing my mic. I know you like my fuzzy mic. You want to grab my fuzzy mic. Yeah.